Alright, what's good YouTube? Your boy Khaled. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm, I'm breaking down another uh, Shoreline Mafia OGZ type of beat. Alright, so basically to make these type of chords, we just got a normal uh, C sharp minor. And then we take this second note. We actually know. On this one, I actually just um, copied the octave up. You see a C sharp and then C sharp up here. Sometimes I'll do this. It kind of gives it like a more of a different vibe. Usually that's pretty good for West Coast. But for this one, I just decided to keep it pretty normal. And then as far as this one goes, it's the same thing, but put this up. You just get this. Pitch it up five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I put this one down here. Actually. Alright. So basically a lot of times on these you just need two chords. And you want to go from like smooth to like tense. And then smooth, tense. So like this chord, this chord is like real smooth. And then this one kind of makes it like really tense. Because it has like these two uh, notes together. So it kind of like gives you that tense feeling. That makes you want to go back to the original chord. And then you bring it back with the tent, um, with the tense chord, and then I just added these two just to give it a little more bounce and uh, make it a little more darker. I would say. Let's play it one more time. Now on these you can use the grand piano. Uh, electric piano is usually what I use for these, but on this one I just wanted to be different, so I use this. I'm guessing it's like a synth key, just to make it sound different. And then basically, I what I did is I just layered that with this one, which I believe is a pad. Yeah. So the pad, you layer the pad with the keys, and then you get this. Oh, and by the way, we're at 104 BPM. For these type of beats, you want to go a little more faster, I would say. You want to get that bounce, like 100 to 105 is how you get that, like, good bounce. And then next up, I added this arcade vocal. I just added this for another, like, texture. You don't have to add this, but I just added it because I like to be extra, I guess. You can like barely hear it, but it's in the background, just adding a texture. And then next up, I added the synth bass. So you play this, uh, usually like in the intro, or you can play it like during the verse, just to switch it up so it's not the 808 every, the whole song. Real popular West Coast type beats. This is like a synth bass, uh, probably from Infinite's uh, kit. And I just made it real simple. Uh, let me play it with the rest of the beat. Remember on this one, we went up five, so for this chord, even though I copied down the original one, um, the root note is F sharp, because we went up five. That's a one, four uh, chord progression. One, four is really good for these type of beats. You can also go down five, which would make it a one, two, three, four. A one, five progression, or you can also do the opposite and start on the four, and then go to the one. Also sounds really good, but this one I just kept the simple one to four. And then after that, you already have a good bass. Uh, you want to add like a string sound usually, or like a synth lead. I just found this violin on uh, Splice that kind of acts as like the lead, I would say. I just uh, made sure to put it in time, add some reverb, EQ it, and uh, this is how it sounds.
So I think that try to get like if you can't play the strings by yourself, try to get like some sample of some strings and that kind of like just fills out like that higher frequency and kind of just gives it the whole sample and like the whole beat like a lot more character. And then the last thing we added, this one I you play during the chorus is just a bell, a cookies bell from the Hoodwill uh, Electra Bank. And then basically this is just to like give it some type the beat some type of variation to kind of make it so it's not the same thing over and over again and it kind of like makes it feel like it's progressing. And on these you want to just keep it real simple. Um and then this kind of just adds like bounce to like the whole beat. Let me play it for you guys real quick. And then let me break out break down some of the drums here on these you want to get like a two-step uh, hi-hat pattern you can add rolls if you want as well but get that start with that and then and then the clap on the twos and the fours and then that's how you start getting You can also do like the spaced out hi-hats, but on this one, to really get that like bounce, I think uh, this is like the best one to get that bounce. If I like turned it down, like say I was at 95. It's just way too slow. You don't get that bounce. Even like at 100. Like you're almost there. But once you hit like 104, 105, that's where you really get like that Shoreline Mafia like bounce. Like where it's like fast, but not too fast. Just like perfectly perfect so you can like bob your head. And then for the 808, I just got it made it really simple. Just two hits right here. And then you can hit two on this one as well, just like this. But I just put one and then I put another one right here. And uh, let me just play it for you. And that, there you already have like the bounce. So like after that, you don't want to go too crazy with the perks. You want to leave that really for like the NorCal type of beats. Like we'll add, we added like an open hat on the one. Break it down one by one. To add a little more uh, impact, I guess, on the one. You could use like a crash, like a symbol. Then I added the galaxy rim, which is like that little rim shot, like little rim hit that like every West Coast beat almost has. And then I added a little triangle right there, the symbol, so it hits on, not on the one, but it hits on the second one. So add a little more bounce there. You want to be really like spacious with these perks, especially on these type of beats, you don't want to overdo it. Clab right there. And add the bongo right here. Bongo. Then add the little two scratches at the end. And that's pretty much it. And then as far as arrangement goes, uh, this I would say is like more arrangement for like YouTube type beat. The YouTube, you want like the long intro. People to stick, like so people watch the beat longer. So your analytics are like better, whatever, whatever. Usually I would drop it at the nine. But on this one, I let it play out. So I... Play the pad and the keys with the arcade vocal. And then on the nine, after eight bars, I bring in the synth bass, the clap, um, all the percussion and the strings. And then after eight bars again, then I'll bring in the hi hat 808. That's what really gives it the bounce. And then that's when I'll that's when I add like the bells. And then I play that for eight bars for the chorus. Then 
for the verse. I'll like take out the hat and the I'll take out the hi hats and the clap for like a bar and then bring them back. And then I'll switch from like the 808 to like the synth bass for eight bars. And I'll bring back the 808 on the next eight bars of the verse. And um I'll take out the bells and then bring the bells back for the hook and then just repeat it. So you basically just make the intro, then make the hook, switch up a little bit for the verse, like take out, like I took out the strings for the first half of the verse. And once you get the 16 bars, then you just repeat or you just copy like this all over. So let me play it one more time for you guys. Alright, so the main thing with these is just to keep it simple, try not to do too much, just focus on getting like the right bounce, the right vibe, and uh, you should be fine. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys want to continue to do like different, I'll do other types of Shoreline Mafia type beats as well, uh, but this is like a really good like starting point. If you heard uh, OGZ and Phoenix's uh, newest song, this was kind of inspired by that. Um, I'll try to do other West Coast uh, styles as well. Um, I hope I did a good enough job of explaining it to you guys. Uh, sorry, my like mic skills aren't the best right now because I'm I'm just starting out. But appreciate you guys. Leave a comment down below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video. Peace.